Hi, um, welcome. We are gonna do a little video today of uh, this Steam, this recent Steam release. I guess it's also on Xbox One and PS4, I think. It's called The Bunker. Um, it's an FMV game. Uh, yeah, I don't know really anything else about it outside of the fact that it was filmed in an actual bunker. A decommissioned one. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. That is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm joined here uh, by Jared. Um, have you played any FMV games in the past? I don't think I have ever. Okay. So this will be an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you ever wanted to live in a bunker? No. I do. I really do. I want to have a whole bunker to myself. Think about how cool that would be. I guess that'd that would be, be kind of cool. Yeah. That'd be fucking dope. Let's just jump right in. I guess I'm about to find out what it would be like. Although I think this is a horror-themed game, so... This might may... sway my opinion on yeah, that. Yeah, it's probably not, it's probably not uh, <coughs> an actual representation of what it would... Okay. Things are happening. You know things are about to go down when people are shuffling things across maps. Well, this is off to a start. Yeah. <laughs> so He's so sweaty. Why is the doctor sweaty? Last push. I think she pushed too hard. <laughs> I get it. Uh, I get it. There's a new one. But you're like two minutes old. Your personnel already? I guess so. Huh. I wonder what that baby's job is gonna be. Head baby. Head baby. Yeah. Or like one of one of those birds that you carry into a mine. And you use it to detect whether or not there are dangerous substances in there. Mm. Wait. Oh, day 10,000? 998? Mm. 30 years later. So I've got a cursor. Oh. I thought I was supposed to click on something. <laughs> There's blood. Hmm. We didn't get a count of uh, personnel. Yeah, yet. not yet at least. <laughs> it's a little on the nose. <laughs> You've got to say it again, John. You'd probably be alone, Mom. Still be here. I'll always be here. And you've got to say it again. <laughs> as long as I stick to the routine, I'll be safe. As long as I always be here. Stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. 
I told them I'd go outside, I'll be safe. Mm, that's it. Good boy. <coughs> what time is it? Bleeding time, Mum. Yes. They look remarkably close in age, don't they? they like do. a little like a little yeah. bit too close. Which one? <laughs> I, I so want to say that one. <laughs> this one? Alright, let's do it. <laughs> the ultimate unit. Common capacity of the reinforcement concrete element. This is subject to the blast leading from the ground. <laughs> it's killing her. Stop reading. Oh, I love you too. I'll be here. I keep you safe. I promise. No. 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 Please. Please. If I'm ever dying, like right in front of you, just just start reading like from the back of a shampoo bottle or something. Okay. I'll enjoy it. <laughs> okay. I don't think this is in the US. Mm. Oh weird, does he just sit there forever? If I don't do anything. Uh, this or this? I mean, you clicked medication and dosage. Okay. He should probably take his medicine. Hmm. What's this? I wonder if my radiation level is safe. Wait, is that how you check it? I have no idea. Radiation is just over 70 MR. That's acceptable. Wait, what? I need to I need to learn more about this. What? Yeah, what that's is how you that? Huh. Dosimeter. All right, let's do the radio now. on the radio. Guess not. Another radiation check? It's <laughs> a lot of bites.
bunker radiation is normal. Good. All right. What delights do we have today? <laughs> I think you should do some tidying up. This looks messy. Why are they storing all of their food in the toilet place? The toilet place? Uh huh. It's where toilets live. <laughs> Boring old beans. <laughs> Game. So that, that makes 27 years. Three months and 14 days of food left. That's a lot of food. <laughs> is he eating? Is he eating? <laughs> sitting on the toilet with his pants down? That's. What is his routine with his mother? Oh. Okay. That doesn't sound sanitary. I need to read to mum. Okay. The fan should be set in operation as soon as the shelter is open. And the outside oh was closed. It should be closed down immediately following the attack to prevent the filters blocking due to the air following the blast wave being contaminated with dust. It's her favorite book. Both from the ground and from any falling buildings. These particles will not be re radioactive. Similarly, the ventilation should be shut down when the fallout is expected. I, good on him as an actor to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that's I pretty got, good. Like, that's, that's my takeaway from that. So like, so far, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this dude. Be, oh, again? Okay. Well, it's the next day. What does he do for the other... 18 hours and 45 minutes he's awake. <laughs> uh, sits there waiting to complete the tasks again, maybe? Radiation is nearly ATMR. It's increasing. Pretty soon you'll have superpowers. That's how it works, right? I think so. Let's see if we find anything on the radio today. If this is what it's like to live in a bunker, I don't know if I'm all that jazzed to live yeah. in a bunker anymore. So this started in 86, right? I think that's what it said, yeah. Yeah, and this is 30 years later, so presumably this is like current day. Yeah. After some sort of nuclear catastrophe. 27 years, 3 months, and 13 days left. We had a dreary morning's work before us, but there were no sign of any wind and the boats had gone out and manned and the ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats where I had. Okay, I guess we're doing another day of this. Oh, it's 
over 80. Mm. He's, he's being yeah, exposed to radiation. Over 80 MR. Well, if nothing else, this is definitely conveying the tedium of fucking living in a bunker by yourself. Mm. At least he's familiar with the manual. Yeah. Like, yeah, he'd, he'd be able to fix that pretty quick. Hopefully. Achievement. What does that say? The routine. Oh, here's the manual. Oh, so I guess we know what he does in his spare time. I don't think the manual's there. No, it's probably in the drawer. Which one? Mm, top one. Keeps it safe. My oh. old diary. Today it is my birthday, and I have had extra peaches, my favorite. And there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colors. Vera sang me a ring a ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy. It's my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I have a general, but I need a bigger army. I've got a block from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. The he fuck? says I am a waste. I think he's a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. We had ham today. It is sort of pink and sticky. It is better than sardines, which are the worst. Mum has made my knife sharper so I can finish off doing my soldier. She says Rocky was the best at winning fights, so that's his name. I finished Rocky, so here are all my friends. Okay. This kid had a dark childhood. Yeah. Growing up in a bunker, I, yeah. My underwear drawer. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a weird place to have your underwear. There's the manual. Oh man, I wonder if we're gonna have to remember this. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take a picture yeah. with my phone. <laughs> Alright. Although it would be really silly of him to not just take that page out of the manual with him. Yeah! Find that the or the whole binder. Two. Find the fuse box level 2. Which friend is that? They all look the same. It's... What? Mum. <sighs> okay, so that's your mom. I need oh, to find a series of books on level two. What's in here? Just my locker. Input, Jared? I don't, I don't know what. I can't even tell what those doors are. Try one of them.
Oh, wait. Has he been, like, in a locked-off section of the bunker for 30 years? I think so. Well, he's obviously got some sort of mental disorder. I, 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 think, I think pretty much anyone would if they spent their entire childhood or life it's in a bunker. After, it's locked after all that. Okay, well, let's try this door. It's room one. Oh, that's mom's room. What do I do, mom? <laughs> oh, God. I, I like I like how the Help. how the sheet has like been pressed into her eye sockets, so you can see that she's dead. Because otherwise, I wouldn't know. Going through mom's stuff? Mm-hmm. It's pretty disrespectful. That's fine. She doesn't need it anymore. <laughs> it's true. So there's nothing there. You think mom might have the fuses? I think she might have the key. Ah, she does. Look at that. A very key-looking key. The key. Now I have to leave. I remember drawing these. All right. Oh, okay. Sure. I wonder if this is going to have jump scares. Mm. His clothes are surprisingly clean and well-pressed, considering that they probably don't have, like, a laundromat. Taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it over. out. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make fourteen. On bare minimum means. I didn't like to press him, but scurvy, ricketts. Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and the rest of us will split your rations. Chin up, man. I hope my voice can be as gravelly as his bulletin. someday. <laughs> Is that to imply that's the last time he went down those stairs? Hmm. Like, 20 years ago? I don't know. Like, he did mention in his journal that he found Mr. Blah, blah, blah. That's his name, right? Yeah. That like, was I don't remember his name. Ah. Level two. What? Achievement unlocked failure. Failure? What does that mean?
We're supposed to go to level two, right? Yeah. Find fuse box located in storage room, level two, and identify damaged fuse. Okay. Um. I think light switch. That might be good. Huh. Does that say storage back there? No. I can't tell what that says. There's that tape here. Dan, this is Alex. Please send this out to all the Berkshire stations and let me know. Thanks. Hello. This is Alexandra Swan. I'm trying to contact my brother Jonathan. Jonathan Swan. He... When the four minute warning came, I was on the phone to him. And he said he'd got a place in one of the Berkshire bunkers, but I don't know which one. If he's with you, and his wife, his wife's name is Sarah. John, if you're there, or if anyone has any news on him, please let me know. You've been to the UK, right? Yeah. Um... You encounter any strange names or pronunciations for places? Not really. Because I feel like there are a lot of places in the UK with borderline unpronounceable names. Mm. Especially, like, Welsh locations. Oh, yeah. I, I was really only in England, so... Mm. Okay. Hey, that's Commodore. Yeah. Yes, it is. I've never seen one in real life. Uh, what do we want to look at? Just go down the list? Sure. All right. Uh, I don't really know what I'm reading here. Okay, so it looks like uh, these are different bunkers. And then oh. last contact date, and then number of people. And then reason for the bunker failure, I guess. Hmm. Unknown census. That's interesting. Autopsy inconclusive. Oof, that's a rough way to go. Communication no. from Bunker HQ, Site hey, 3, Caution, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in, shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space. All right. Um, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This guy looks like a knockoff Ryan Gosling. <laughs> That's a fuse box for sure. Sam. Okay. Sam. There are also two doors over here. Let's try this. Ok, 
Okay, radiation bad. Got it. AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. I think CB is C Bishop. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates this? appointed hierarchy no. and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Request send to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. Yeah. So it seems C like CB was the... Was it colonel? Commander? Something? No. The dude with the gravelly voice that I want to have. not a very long time for building a bunker. Concrete gets really hot, right? When the chemical reaction begins and it starts to harden. I don't know. I, th I think it releases a lot of heat. Hmm. I wonder how long it takes for that to dissipate. Room. Spooky. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been ten minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I... it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under ten tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. We'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes. Six others. Quarantine them. Right away. Mom? Maybe I shouldn't I have done that. What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. Like a bit of tick. I don't like it here. Oh jeez, there are a lot of things here. Okay, that's another doll. Seems like we missed one. Attention, the mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. So what do you think is going on? Theories yet? No. No theory. I'm hoping know. it's not fucking zombies. Or anything like that. I'd be pretty bummed. Brown residue. Hmm. Okay.
Okay. You good? Yep. All right. All right. All right. see anything. Old Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> I never played that game. Is it alright? I don't, I don't understand some core concept of There's it. There's nothing like <laughs> that. Uh, Chelsea's nephew, he's like five years old, he's super into Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. It's a really big hit with kids. I don't understand why. I, uh, he really likes the song too, and he'll sing it, and it's super morbid. I don't know. How, I don't remember how it goes, but yeah, I don't, it's I don't know. some pretty heavy themes. Opened. Okay. okay. That was weird. Only open one drawer at a time. Okay. Can handle that. Records. I've never purchased a record. Have you? No. Hmm. My family owned a record player growing up, but it, it never saw any use. I had a few as a kid. Uh -huh. like, I had, like, as a very young child, I had a Fisher Price record player. Oh, really? Yeah. Did it actually play records? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. There's gonna be something that pops up behind him. It's way too dark. Yeah. He's the replacement. It's a giant fuse. I mean, th this does seem like some Cold War tech, right? Yeah. I imagine I've gotta shut this off. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't. I don't want to electrocute him. check to see which one it was. I think it might be this one. I can switch the power back on now. How did you identify that? I, I, I just thought that it looked different from all the other ones. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> supposed to wait 10 seconds. Was that 10 seconds? I don't know. Just get out of here. Go back. Yeah, I guess so. Let's go back to the staircase. Stairwell? I say we it's go down to... It, it wasn't there before. Investigate! Level 5! Go to level 5! No, I can't. 
Get it together, man. Let's try one more time. <laughs> I hope we don't have to watch that whole scene again. Starting to think that some bad stuff happened there. Oh, weird. You can. Wait, what? Can we go up? Doesn't look like we oh, can go back. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Oh, weird. Huh. That, like, zoom in thing was kind of disorienting. Yeah. I need an NBC suit before I can go to level four. I don't know. I guess you don't have one. So there was uh I need to in the commission suit. in the commissioner's office there was a closet that said NBC suit, but there was there wasn't there one wasn't there, one right? In there, yeah. Okay. Wonder if mom has one. I guess we already yeah. searched everything in here, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What do I do? Okay, yeah, let's go. Is there... go back. Can you go back? No. Uh... no. I cannot go back from here. But what did you see? I was gonna say, if the, see if there was something on the floor that you could click on. Like, oh. if you could go the other way down that hallway. Oh, shit. Um... I, I guess I could go back and check. <laughs> Up to you. Uh... Yeah, I guess it doesn't take too long. Let's just do that if real quick. you can walk any slower... Yeah. Come on, guy. Already checked go. up there, no NBC suits, and I still need to go down to level 4 okay. to fix that unit. Alright, so there's probably one in here, maybe. Somewhere. If I were an NBC suit, where would I be? 30 Rockefeller Plaza, I was perhaps? just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Glad we were on the same wavelength about that. Have you watched 30 Rock? No, actually. Oh my god, you are missing out on a, a pretty good show. Yeah, yeah Tina Fey is great. I yeah, like she is. And uh, Tracy Tracy Morgan. Yes, because Tracy Jordan is his name in the show. Tracy Morgan is really good. He's really funny in that show. Um, okay, so... Perhaps... Check those rooms again? I don't know. Yeah... We might have to open the one that says NBC suit to trigger something. The NBC suit is gone. Okay. So I imagine that that dude is wearing it somewhere? Maybe? The only person in the whole facility. Ugh. I mean, his dead body, perhaps. He died wearing the suit? That's a we bad don't, sign. We don't, we don't well, know that. let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now, maybe that looks small, 
but that's around 100,000 fatalities, maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. I, I struggle to get a good idea in my head of where all of these places are it, in yeah. England, because I just, I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with any of that. Oh, what's down here? Doctor. Oh, okay. Doctor. Doctor. Um. What was that? Oh, the map. Uh, so level two has main office, electrical, office one, office two. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Um, level three is the war room. Okay. What and, does that little thing say? And there's an emergency stairwell. So I imagine that we're gonna go down to three. Something's gonna happen. We're gonna go up the emergency stairwell, come back up here, and then come back to the air filtration room. Okay. I, I mean, yeah. That's not that's not my plan or anything. That's just what I feel is gonna happen. <laughs> Um, have you ever fiddled with that uh, that web application that allows you What's to that like horrible noise? simulate dropping a bomb on any given location on like Google Maps? No. Um, it, it's it's pretty cool because you can change the the like size of the bomb and see what the blast radius would be like and whether or not you would, for example, survive if it dropped if an atomic bomb dropped in the downtown area. Um, it's interesting because a You're lot on the of watch list. <laughs> it was a it was a pretty popular link for a while, um, but it's like it made me realize that a lot of uh, a lot of bombs that have been dropped in the the past hundred years aren't as big as you would think. Like Hiroshima, uh, what the the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima, like it wouldn't wipe out. All of Santa Cruz, for example. Yeah. The the biggest bomb ever ever like detonated the Tsar Bomba that the the Soviet Union mm. um, detonated in the eighties, I wanna say. Um that one, like if you were to drop it on San Francisco, um the city would be gone. Oak everyone in Oakland would most likely survive. Uh there would probably be a lot of destruction, but like places like San Jose would be fine. Where we are, it would be okay. Hmm. So it really kind of puts things into perspective a little bit. So I'm curious what sort of oh, catastrophe man. happened to make all of this a reality. Well, that map seemed to show like numerous bombs. Yeah, so. yeah, so some sort of mutually assured destruction happened. Uh... Mr. Churchill, it's an honor, sir. So out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food. And yet the symptoms... I can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it, George. We don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from, or how it will spread. We have no cause, we have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with there it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's just us. So get yourself together and fix this, do you understand me? Oh, what's that? Cooling system. <laughs> uh, 
I'm sorry, Mr. Bishop. I'm, <laughs> I'm just on edge. This place, it's full of ghosts. I think this might be as good of a place as any to stop for the time being. Yeah. Yeah, so that pretty much concludes part one of this playthrough. Um, I think we'll probably finish this up next weekend, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and hopefully get to the bottom of the mystery that is the depths of this bunker. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I um, still don't know what's going on. A lot of the reviews, or... Yeah, a lot of the reviews that I was reading of this game were mentioning that, uh... Like, three quarters of the way through, you kind of know the ending. Mm. So, I have no idea yet. So, I'm... I, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of happy. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm optimistic. Yeah. Yep. Alright, um, well... Come back next week for the next installment of The Bunker. Farewell. Bye.